This is Official Nerd Business. Hello, nerd boys and girls. Welcome back to the wonderful lands of wherever the hell this is. We are playing Factorio, and today we're gonna build. Um, uh, I want to uh, concentrate a bit on the research. Um, uh, specifically, I want to push for oil research, and I want to do that because I want to build uh, laser turrets. Um, and all the research we need to do for oil, because uh, laser turrets take batteries, and batteries take sulfur, and sulfur takes petroleum, and petroleum takes oil, and uh, you need to do a lot of research for all of them. Um, so as soon as electric energy uh, distribution is done, we are going to research oil jacks, and then uh, some other oil rated techniques. Um, in fact, let's see if we can build a couple more of these. Yeah, we definitely need to do something with how our research looks, but later. And while we are waiting for all the uh, oil related research to be done, uh, we're going to set up the next uh, bit of research, which is for um, military. How is this? Oh, this is powered like this. Interesting. And this one is more to the side here, so let's. Uh, let's let's make it like that as well. Um, we can't. That's solvable, I guess. Right. Let's hope our supply lasts. Um, we do have something of a buffer, so we need to. Um, uh, we need to also start working on military science. And for military science, we need to uh, build a couple of things. Um, we do not even have military science yet. This is fun. Where is military science hiding out? Where do we get access to military science? This is all. Probably from military too. We'll have a look once this is done. Uh, in the meantime, let's check on power levels. Barely keeping up. Um, anyway, for um, um, from memory, from military science, we need um, the red. Do we even have those yet? No armor piercing rounds. So for that, we need steel. We even have that yet. I can make steel from the pocket, so let's have a look over here. You eat some coal and This is just a little test setup to see if we can make steel. Yeah, we do seem to have steel capabilities. So, to make steel, we need to smelt five iron plates into a steel bar. Um, I'm kind of wondering how to do that. Because I think we could just do it on the bus. Because we, um, uh, maybe I'm jumping all over the place at the moment. Uh, we also need coal in our bus for 
the military science for grenades we need to make grenades and uh, they take coal so we need to add a line here for coal this is going to increase our coal production significantly too by the way yeah since I'm bringing in coal why not use some of that and our uh, iron plates here to make steel on the bus like uh, have a little smelter like this in here create steel plates for us let's do it um, steel takes some time to make but we do want a steady supply of it especially for later game uh, also I am going to build myself a chest do I still have these? apparently not Okay. Here we're gonna store some stuff that we won't need right off the bat. Oh, this is a nice smelter setup. Let's add that to our uh, bus at some point in time. And I am terribly short on iron. That should solve that. Uh, let's put five more. So I'm gonna double our coal production here. More than double it. There's one, two, three. Uh, let's see, yes, this gives us access. This gives us the last materials we'll need to build this and also the science pack itself. So let's enable that and. Wait, why am I running around with burner insert or uh, burner mines? Um, so we can ditch these two burner mines. Let's repast. Uh, also, with electric distribution, we got access to the new power poles, which requires steel again, so uh, that's one of the things we need steel for. Um, wow! Uh, that was done awfully quick. This is going to take a little while longer. This gives us access. This is the um, uh, the basic oil processing technique which gives us access to pump jacks which give raw crude oil which goes into an oil refinery the refinery makes um, uh, three separate streams of oil light oil, heavy oil and petroleum and each of those can be um, changed into other oil related products using a chemical plant um, which also gives us access to plastics, to solid fuel, to whatever uh, yes here's solid fuel, here's three different recipes for solid fuel um, of which I believe the light oil to solid fuel is the most efficient lubricant, we're gonna use that for um, uh, engines a little later on so yeah let's, uh, let's take oil processing and the goal here is to, uh, as you can see in the tree here, to rush through to um, batteries and then using the batteries I want to go to um, these batteries to laser turrets and laser turrets also takes uh, laser technology which we can research now and uh, itself it requires the, the, the black ones, that's uh, military technology packs so yeah, it looks like we're gonna be busy for a while making this. Uh, I need some plastics. So that's our goal eventually. Uh, and I, I uh, it's, it's a personal preference thing. I very much like the laser turrets because if we were going to um, To place ordinary uh, gun turrets or, or uh, flamethrower turrets, which require uh, fuel, which also requires the oil, by the way, but 
that's a side note. Um, we would need to bring ammo to um, to the turrets, and that's something that takes quite the infrastructure. And it, in my opinion, it doesn't really pay. Um, while the laser turrets are jacked into your uh, electric network. So you just need to place a power pole next to them and, and they're good. So yeah, that uh, sounds a lot better to me. Um, let's make this into something of a coal main. With an underground here. Uh, we will be adding uh, smelting facilities a little later on. Another one of these, for example. Can we still expand this and not plot the belt? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 28 are producing iron at a rate of. How long does it take them to make an iron plate? Can I see that here? Yes. Three and a half seconds. So we would need three and a half. And we have currently two. So we can still extend this, in fact. To fill up an entire belt. Let's go with this. So there. Um, yes, this is the point where I want to split off belt four. Oh, by one. This is where I want to split off a belt four. Still all by one though. Um, let's see, now we need uh, two spaces in fact. Not here, not here, and here. So here we will have coal running into the main bus. Let's throw them out a bit. We will need it. We will need plenty more, as a matter of fact. Right. Um, let's let's now see. Uh, steel. Yes. Blueprint for this. Wait, I'm gonna alter slightly by the looks of it. As this about the right height.
So I'm not sure if I've uh, mentioned it before, but um, what what really drew me into the um, uh, what we're doing with the, the, the channel here are our nerdy games. What really drew me into them is uh, a game called Space Camp. Uh, Space Camp is made by uh, Zachtronics. They've uh, they've done a lot of Space Camp like games um, over the over the years. There's um, Infinity Factory, there's uh, Opus Magnum, and there's also uh, TIS 100 and Genio. And I've just released a new game. It's called Exapunks. Oh, we even got a sticker. Um, it's called Exapunks, and it's uh, it's about uh, programming, uh, sending in viruses to systems to hijack them. Um, and and they've uh, seen a little bit of a let's play about it. They've woven a nice uh, story into it. Um, but I'm I'm not really excited for it. Um, of all the Sectronics games, I like the games best with more of a fantasy element to them. So the the Space Camp um, had a, had a nice sci-fi setting and an, uh, a good way of telling the story. I was I was really impressed with how much um, feeling and information they could put in the simple text between levels. That was done very nicely. Um, and with what I've seen from um, from Exapunks, I'm I'm not really getting that same feeling. That same. Uh, I think uh, I I also don't really like their their programming games as much as I like um, uh, their others. Shenya Nayo is. Uh, not scratching that same age for me as uh, as a space camera and Infinity Factory does, uh, which which are far more into the the, the realm of fantasy. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick it up. I'm not sure if I'm gonna show it on the channel at some point. Certainly not right now, since we are already working on a couple of games here. So that's um, a brief take at Exapunks for now. Let's see, you're going to wire up the steel smelting here now. So there's steel coming in, or our iron. The back end, whatever. And Let's draw the line from this side inwards. Oh, I'm out of undergrounds. There will be a second belt here, it will go on the lower side, so let's just take this here. And and let's connect it. Now the belts. Yes. Search. How are we doing on inserters? We are quite full of inserters. Here's belts. So yeah, making steel. Wondering if 
if I should grab the first few steel bars to create a steel axe. Yeah. Iron seems to work just fine at the moment. Um, This goes here. Do need an underground. Uh, and I am out of undergrounds again. Are probably going to get two copper of our uh, two coal belts. Then there's two belts in between, and here we will have one or two steel belts. So that's a start on steel. Uh, let's now take a look at the next thing we will need for our um, military science packs, which are the piercing rounds. It's probably not a bad idea to get piercing rounds for my own ammunition as well. I'm surprised that we don't we aren't under attack yet. But I'm not complaining. Uh, so let's make a factory for um, these guys, which take these guys, which take a bunch of iron, a little bit of copper and some steel, alright. And then the grenades, which take the coal and some iron. Can I combine them? That would be nice. And let's have a go. Where are my... I'm out of factories. No more assembly machines. I am running right past them. Wait, that we're gonna run out of power soon too. And uh, let's see now these make grenades. I want some more steel. Because I definitely want these power balls. These have uh, quite a larger area. So 
so we can power more things with less power balls, which is nice. We can use more space for um, for belts and other logistical uh, for for inserters, etc. Uh, no, not that one. This one. Then we have the iron coming in on this side. Alright. Oh, no hands, I have no hands. Here's the so we're gonna go to Split off. I uh, need to die under it here. Ah. Off by one as usual. Um, Here's a line for iron. Which is gonna split off here. And go. Hmm. We are. Plates. These are a bit slow for that, so let's These are slow to build mm, I'm gonna need more of these okay, I'm gonna need a lot more of these. Um, those grenades we're gonna use a lot because they will. Um, I'm coming out but, um, we will also use them to uh, clear the woods when whenever we will hit wooded terrain. They're nice for clearing out the trees. Please. Oh, there, I guess. Yeah, I am good, thank you. Um, I don't know what that was.
so there's that. Need to split off a line from here uh, a bit later on for feeding our uh, military research. But for now, let's leave it with that. And here we will have our yellow ammo. Wait, uh, those need faster search. some copper and iron for this um, just out of curiosity we need five times as much copper as we do steel so should I make a combined belt or should I make two separate belts I guess we could do either so let's make a combined belt. I think that'll look better. Yeah, but just not slightly not big enough. Um, so whenever that happens, it can of course still happen. Uh, you can compensate with uh, smaller power poles just to get that bit of juice where you want it. Still works out just fine. Okay. Here we will have a. Uh, can I do output? Oh, man. Uh, I can do output, but it will be weird. I need to do wrong side. Here and there, and here and there. This is gonna look a bit weird, but whatever, it'll work eventually. Combined line of copper. Let's first bring in the copper lines here. guys again and I am not carrying enough iron and green chips those are my favorite chips and let's see these guys And I'm gonna wait a second with putting them on that belt because I want the second belt coming in here and joining it. With the steel. And occasionally you'll get um, that you can terminate the belt because no other items downstream will use whatever we have on here, but coal is not such a thing. We will need a little later on for um, for a couple of other recipes. So that stays on the belt. Uh, let's let's do this. 
this end again. Won't you there? So this should be. I think we should start thinking about a factory for undergrounds and splitters as well as uh, the bare belts. Hooked up fine. No way. Wait. Uh, let's see. To get here, we will also need this, this, and therefore this. So let's start here again. This takes another 200. Well, we're still pretty much backed up, so our second facility here is running fine. That's good to see. And we are starting to hit the maximum on our current power supply, so we will need to add a couple of additional units. I am going to take some iron for that. We will need another boiler, two of these guys, and a bunch of pipes. I have an underground, but I want some of these as well. So while that's cooking, oh, it's done already. Well, let's finish up the this little bit here first. Oh wait, don't get belts right. How much is stored here then? Four hundred. How did it blow through four hundred belts? Let's see, Johnny using them. Four hundred belts. Up. So this uh, continuously adds um, whatever comes from this side to the left side of the belt, the right side of the belt, gives us a combined belt. Now for the output. And as I said, this is going to look a bit dodgy. By laying down this particular belt, I'm forcing, um, if this wasn't here, this would do this. And then the magazines be on the same side as the grenades, and I want them on opposite sides. Should this belt ever fill up completely or whatever, and then, uh, then we know in what position what is. And here we can see I'm going to take on stack grenades. And I am going to put them in here. Um, so, for power. We'll first fix the power and then we'll come back to finish um, military research. Our research towards the laser turrets is still uh, uh, chugging along just fine, so we've got the time. We are doing a little bit differently. There we go. This is good. I don't have those, but that's no surprise. So I believe that with one um, one offshore pump giving us water, we can line up 20 of these. Um, but we're not going to because that would land us right here and on the copper patch that's not what we want to do so maybe we'll extend it backwards or extend it on this end that's a possibility it's a nice possibility in fact so we'll probably delete that then eventually for now 
This doesn't cut it. That's rich. Oh, call me surprised. What, what's in our power then? Yeah, the multiple miners. Because we're now uh, using more iron ore for um, steel production and using steel, and we can see this here. Now that we are actually consuming steel to create grenades, let's see this. This enables the flow of uh, iron ore, which uh, creates. Which gives us the fact that this belt isn't backed up anymore, so every miner in this block and, and this, these guys we've expanded, uh, can now constantly do their output, so they're constantly running, so they're constantly draining power. Now every inserter that we add to this uh, draws power. Um, yeah, we need a second grader installation there too, I see. So let's do that, but we will also need. We still have supplies for one, two, and three. This is the right spot. We'll see. That's also the better inserter. Now then. That's better. And we were drawing. Some things are starting to back up again. So that lowers the draw on power as well as it now is expanded. So satisfaction again on the extra signs. These these labs eat power. They draw a lot of power. So that's settled for now again. So in this case. You're backed up. Oh, you're backed up. You're backed up. Uh, let's see how we can solve this particular level. And, uh, we will have this line coming in here like that. And then out again. Wait, why isn't this working? Now it is. Now it is. Oh wait, no, that. So this ensures that whatever is coming over this line is uh, put on both sides of the belt. Now it will clog up here, but at least the uh, the load will be spread equally among. And the pressure will be on the grenades. I should have left some room here for another grenade factory, I guess. Ah, wait a second. No, it just won't fit. These are the same components as these. I am not going to use that fact. Um, I oh yeah. left a little space in between these factories just to show that they are separate factories. I am not going to steal input from the one to use in the other. It's going to be trouble. Could do splits here, uh, combi combine the belts here, then do a split here, and have one run into here and one run there sideways and, and uh, expand here. That would be better. Ah, 
underestimated how long it takes for grenades to... Uh, 8 seconds, yeah. There's your problem. There's the problem, not the solution. Um, we do need to solve this before we can make... It's the right kind of research. So here is our second grenade factory. Which will have its input here. And its output there. If I combine the belts, then coal will be running up to high. That's not very nice either. So I should do this just a second. That yes. Um. Well, I am designing this system to take only one belt as input. Let's make that one line then. Yeah, it's too close to everything. Now we need to redo this. We need to be always out of here. Input over here and then output over here, all the way or all the way around might be better. Combine the line, yes, because this is this will only be used for grenades. Input and we're just gonna tap two more lines here. But this time we can combine them, so let's do that. for our laser, for our laser turrets.
Um, this one goes there. And again, keeping in mind that there will very probably be a second line of Pokemon in here. There, our Golden Iron coming into this machine. We go it up, of course. Um, then and to get our output to where we want it, we do this. I thought um, we need a lot of resources for uh, building one grenade, but it also takes a while, so I thought maybe the regular inserters is, are, are fast enough to go ahead and get those resources while this is building, but apparently they just fall short, so I've doubled the input. And here's our output. There's gonna get, we're gonna get a split, and that split will lead next bit um, which uh, will take the grenades and the piercing rounds and gun turrets oh we are on we have some enemy activity in our copper mines so I am going over there as fast as my little legs will carry me To introduce them to my friend Smith and Wesson. Where are you? Just one. Yep. So we had We had one enemy biter, um, which uh, where is my repair? I thought I had some repair. Actually, here we go. The one enemy biter um, destroyed this um, inserter, but he will not do so anymore. Um, so we need gun turrets. That's a nice bridge. And the gun turrets uh, take a lot of iron, copper and gear wheels. So we will need a nice factory to build them. They also take a while, so we will also need to make sure that we build enough of them and here here's the problem with gun turrets, they take ammo. So if we were to um, build a wall around our entire factory, then we would also need to have something of a supply system to get the ammo into all of these gun turrets. So that's that's why I want to push for laser turrets as soon as possible. And I think building our military science is going to be a two-parter. So for now, I will drop a radar station and say goodbye. 
and I will see you again when we finish up with military science. And that's a lot of activity. Let's hope they can wait till next week. Thanks for watching this video on official nerd business. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the bell icon. Did we discuss everything you wanted to hear or did we miss anything? Any topics you want to hear in O&B? Leave your thoughts in the comments. See you next time.